Hey everyone and welcome back to daily tuition. In this tutorial, I'm going to convert the handlebar template engine into EJS template engine. This video is created with handlebar template engine. So my many subscriber requested to convert this handlebar into EJS template engine. So this video is all about converting handlebar into EJS. If you don't know how to upload multiple images using Express, Node and MongoDB with handlebar, you can check out the link in the description. In this video, I'm going to clone this project. So I'm going to just open our video of multiple image uploader. And just down here, you can notice inside the description, I'm going to have my Git repo. I'm going to open that in the new tab. And right here, I'm going to copy this link and I'm going to clone this project. So I'm going to open my VJ Studio Code editor and open an empty folder inside it. I'm going to have exp empty folder inside my VJ Studio Code editor. Just out of that, I'm going to open my terminal. Inside my terminal, I'm going to say git clone and then I'm going to paste my link. When I press enter, this will just simply clone this project. You can notice here, I have this project inside my exp directory. If you don't have git installed in your local system, you can use this download zip option. You can download the zip and extract it into your local system. Let me close this terminal. And right here, I have my image uploader project. You can notice inside these views, I have main.hbs, which is the handlebar file to create this project. Instead of using handlebar in this example, I'm going to use EJS. So I'm going to open my terminal and first I'm going to enter into my image uploader project. So I'm going to say here CD image uploader node express and inside it, I'm going to first install. So I'm going to say here npm iPhone install and then I'm going to install EJS template engine. So you just need to say here EJS. When I press enter, this will simply install this EJS template engine inside this project. Once I have that, let me just close this terminal and open the server.js file. Inside the server.js, you can notice here, I have the view engine HBS. I'm going to remove this view engine from here and specify EJS template engine. So instead of removing this code, I'm going to comment this code like this. And just before this code up here, I'm going to add a comment and say setup EJS view engine. And just down here, I'm going to say app.set and inside it, I'm going to specify view engine and then I'm going to set this view engine to EJS. That's it. You don't want to add any extra code like HPS to set up the EJS template engine. And then if you want to create any EJS file, you can create that inside this views folder. So this statement is going to specify the default view folder, which is views. Inside this, you can create your EJS template. Now, for example, let's say you don't want to specify your EJS templates inside this views folder. You want to specify that inside a different folder. Then you can just add here another statement, app.set. And inside that, you can specify your views folder. So I'm going to say here views. Then I'm going to specify here path.join. And then I'm going to call here directory name. And as a second argument here, I'm going to specify public. So this statement will find all your EJS files from this public folder. Now I'm going to get rid of this statement right from here. And I'm going to just create a new folder inside this views. And I'm going to name that folder pages. That's upon you. You can specify any name to this folder. And inside these pages, I'm going to create a new file. And I'm going to name it index.ejs. Make sure the extension of this file is ejs, which is embedded JavaScript. Just out of that, here, I'm going to create the header, main section of this website, and the footer. Instead of adding all that code inside this index.ejs, I'm going to create a dedicated files for that. So inside these pages, I'm going to create a new file for the header. So I'm going to say here, header.ejs, and inside it, I'm going to specify my header. You can notice inside these partial files, I have the header as well. I'm going to copy all this code from the handlebar and specify that inside this header.ejs like this. Don't forget to remove these comments because these are not valid in ejs. You will get an error message of it. I'm going to get rid of it, save this file, close this header.hbs and close this header.ejs as well. Just out of that, inside these pages, I'm going to create another file with the name footer.ejs. I'm going to copy the code from the partial files of handlebar. I'm going to copy this code specify that in this footer section. Save this file, close both these files, and I'm going to create now the main file, where I'm going to put all my main code. 
so inside this pages i'm going to create a new file and specify here main dot ejs and inside this main i'm going to copy all these index dot ejs code and specify that inside this main dot ejs just minimize these partial files close this index dot ejs and remove all the comments from this main dot ejs because it is not valid in ejs I'm going to remove all these commands like this. Just out of that, I'm going to save this file. And you have to change this code in EJS because it is a type of handlebar code. You, you will get an error message if you try to run this code because this is the handlebar code. So I'm going to get rid of this code from here. And simply, I'm going to specify here H3 heading tag and specify here images. Let me save this file back to the index.ejs and here i'm going to import all my partial files if you want you can create all these partial files in a dedicated folder as well just like this partial folder but just for understanding i'm going to put all these files in the same folder just out of that here i'm going to include all these partial file so i'm going to first include the header file so the syntax of ejs is something like this the angle packet percentage sign with dash and just close this sign with, with percentage and the closing angle bracket. This is the syntax of ejs. Just out of that, here I'm going to specify include, the include function of ejs and specify my header file. So you just need to specify here header. You don't need to specify ejs with this header file. It will automatically detect the header file from your current folder. So I'm going to have here header.ejs. So I'm going to just specify header here. Let me just copy this code make sure the syntax is exactly same otherwise you will get an error message paste that here and instead of header right now I'm going to specify footer just out of that once I have my footer and the header between that I have my main section so I'm going to paste the code again and specify here main file so I'm going to say here main and now you need to specify the controller to render this index.hs instead of rendering this main.hbs so I'm going to minimize these pages back to the server open the controller folder and here i have my controller.js file inside that you can notice the home page is going to render the main page this main.hbs instead of this main.hbs right now we need to inform this controller to render this pages folder and render this index.ejs instead of rendering this main file so get rid of this main and just specify here pages this pages folder and then specify index that's it let me save this file close this controller now just for that let me create a new file inside this root folder i'm going to create here config.js and specify the mongodb uri inside this file so i'm going to simply say here constant config is equal to and in the curly braces i'm going to specify my mongodb so i'm going to say here mongo uri and then i'm going to specify the mongo uri to this variable so here you need to specify your mongodb at last uri so once you specify the mongodb uri let me just open the terminal and here i'm going to specify a command called npm start so i'm going to say here npm start and as you can see this will just start the development server on localhost 3000 let me open this viewport. So once you open the localhost 3000, you will get something like this. If you want, you can choose multiple images and upload that in the MongoDB database. I already have images inside my MongoDB database. So I'm not going to upload that again. Instead, I'm going to open my example, move this window on the right side and open the main.ejs page. Because here, you can notice I just have these images. Now what I want, when I click on this upload button, I want to display all my images here. If you can notice inside my controller, controller.js, you can notice here, this statement is going to render this pages and index file. And with that, I'm going to get a variable called images. Inside this all images variable, I'm going to have the document from the MongoDB database. I'm going to have all the data of my images inside this variable. I'm just going to access this variable and display all that data right here using EJS. So I'm going to just back to the main.ejs and right here, I'm going to get rid of this H3 heading tag. And here, I'm going to simply first iterate over the images object. 
So here I'm going to simply first add the EJS template engine syntax. So I'm going to see here, angle bracket, percentage sign, percentage sign again, and the closing angle bracket. Inside it, I'm going to say images. I'm going to specify the images variable. You can notice here, I'm going to have this images variable. I'm going to access that. And uh, just out of that, I'm going to call here a function of EJS, which is for each. Now make sure the spelling of this function is exactly the same. I'm going to specify here for each function and inside this function I'm going to call the callback function so I'm going to say here function and specify parenthesis again inside it I'm going to call img and specify here opening curly braces like this just get rid of the closing curly braces from here so just specify here opening curly braces and get rid of this parenthesis as well this closing parenthesis as well just like this once you specify that you need to close the parentheses of this for each as well as this curly braces. So just down here, I'm going to add the ages template syntax again. And then I'm going to specify here closing curly braces and a closing parenthesis. So I'm going to just complete my for each like this. And inside this, I'm going to print my HTML. So for now, let's say if I just print here strong and inside that, if I want to print this variable IMG, then I'm going to simply say here the EJS syntax with equal to sign to print a variable and then I'm going to print IMG. Now let me show you what you're going to have inside this IMG variable. This for each is going to iterate over these images, these images and print all the items of this images object. When I save the changes and reload the browser, you can notice this statement is going to print all my images objects. This is the ID of the MongoDB document. Then I'm going to have the file name, which is going to be the image name. Then I'm going to store the content type. Then I'm going to have the image base 64 value, which is going to be the hash value. What I'm going to do is I'm going to access these values and create a beautiful items. I'm going to back to the handlebar, open the index.hbs. Right here, you can notice I have this each section. And then I'm going to copy this division tag right from here. Just copy this division tag and specify that instead of this strong tag. So I'm going to get rid of the strong tag and specify my division tag here. So I'm going to just copy this div and specify that inside this for each. Just out of that, you need to change few things here. You can notice inside these images, we have the handlebar syntax. So let's get rid of this handlebar syntax from here like this. And instead of handlebar syntax, I'm going to specify here EJS syntax. So I'm going to specify here EJS syntax like this. Now, because we are printing value of the variable, that is why I specify here equal to sign. Just out of that, I'm going to specify here space and then I'm going to say here IMG, this IMG variable. And inside that, as you know, we have this content type key. So I'm going to access that key with dot operator. I'm going to say here dot content type. That's it. Just out of that, just get rid of this base64 variable right from here and just add here ejs syntax like this so here i'm going to say img dot and i'm going to access this key image base 64 so i'm going to see here image base 64 that's it just save your file and reload this browser when i reload the browser you can notice i'm going to have all my images so this will just simply convert this handlebar into ejs I don't have any space between these cards. If you want, you can add that using your style.css file. So with this simple technique of EJS, you can convert your handlebar code into EJS template engine. So I hope you understand how to convert the handlebar into beautiful EJS. Like this video if you find anything useful. Subscribe for more latest videos. Share this video with your friends. That is all for now. I will see you in the next one.